Hi, I'm Jody Creekmore. I'm the project director for the Blackhawk Air Crew Trainer, or BAT. You are inside the BAT right here. This is the BAT visual system. This is a cockpit. Uh, this is a state-of-the-art technology that we've incorporated into this entire trainer that allows Blackhawk pilots to uh, train and be better pilots as we're defending the country. This is where pilots will actually spend a lot of their time training and preparing for missions and, and keeping ready, keeping ready wherever they are. This device is made and designed to be transportable. It's literally going all over the world. We are putting these all over the world. Um, this device right here, actually the one you're in, this is uh, on its fifth move. The, it has trained three combat aviation brigades so far. About 50 pilots have gone through each of the uh, three training courses. So somewhere around 150 to 200 pilots have already trained in this, this device right here. We put a state-of-the-art visual system that is about 210 degrees by about 50 degrees field of view. And this allows pilots to feel like they're actually flying the aircraft. We can simulate day, night, night vision goggle operations, dust, cloud, flying in rains, uh, thunderstorms, uh, pretty much anything that the pilots can encounter or will encounter when they're actually performing their real world missions, we can replicate that training environment right inside the cockpit. Now we're climbing inside the actual cockpit over here, this is Matt Black. He's flying at the, uh, right now. Matt is one of the project directors in the BAT project. And I'm going to slide up into the cockpit. Right now, we're at Fort Carson, Colorado. We're on the takeoff runway. And Matt's going to take us off, and we're going to fly towards Pikes Peak. Ready? Yep, let's go. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> so we've started taking off. So this is the main instrument panel. This is the center console. And again, this is a this replicates the actual aircraft. This is some tactical hardware, some simulated hardware. This is a, you can see outside the glass here. That's our visual display system, and we can create visual train databases for anywhere in the world, actually. So today we happen to be flying at Fort Carson, Colorado, but in a few minutes by changing the terrain database, we could be flying in Kabul, Afghanistan, or a few minutes later we could pull up a new display and we could be flying uh, outside of Seoul, Korea. Right now we're heading up into the mountains. We were flying over Fort Carson proper, now we're flying up into the mountains. One of the cool things about the bat is we get to replicate, we can replicate not just the aircraft and what it looks like inside, but the environmental conditions for where we're flying. Fort Carson, Colorado, it starts at around 6,000 feet above sea level. So the aircraft performs differently at 6,000 feet than it does around sea level somewhere in Florida. So what we allow to do, what we can do in the back is create that training environment so the pilots, not only does it look outside like where they're flying, but the aircraft will perform like it would if it was flying at 6,000 feet as opposed to sea level somewhere in Florida. So NOE flight is how we fly tactically. Um, the higher we are exposed into the air, the more dangerous the flight is, particularly in combat. So Matt's simulating right now the way we would be flying this aircraft in an actual combat situation close to the ground so that the enemy can't see where we're flying. So we're flying low to the earth, using the hills to help cover and conceal where we're flying, our route of flight. So I hope you enjoyed your visit to the bat. Um, right now you're looking the outside of the container. This is a mobile container that allows the bat to deploy anywhere in the world. Harsh or uh, otherwise uh, weather conditions. It doesn't matter if it's raining or snowing or sleeting or hot or cold. The environmental 
control uh, stations inside allow the bat to keep the pilots comfortable as they train to do their real world mission. This device collapses and is roadworthy and is that's how we've done it. We've taken this and we've put it in two pieces and we've put it all over the world. So I hope you enjoyed your tour of the bat. Have a great day.